Namaste, Leo. I'm going to do your sun, moon, rising, astrologically based um, three-month forecast for love, focusing on the month of February. And when I say your, I mean our, because I'm a Leo rising too. How could I have forgotten that or let that escape me for a moment? We're going to begin with the energy of honeymoon for us. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And opening to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now flirt is on the top. Opening to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Now, these may be negative. Don't know yet. They don't have to be, however. Um, sometimes I recognize, for example, the cards for the fire signs as red sign as red flags, you know, so this could be like our energy, Leo energy, fire sign. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I'll, I'll reserve comment. Flirt is back. I'll go one more. Opening now to attraction, your attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And basically what that is saying is you get back what you put out. You reap what you sow. You put out attractive um, vibes, you get them back. I'm going to cut into six because I like six. The universal energy of six. Let go of control issues, Leo, and allow this situation to unfold naturally. Overall energy is now chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Now I'm going to lay nine piles for us, with this being July. I'm sorry, July. What the hell? I wonder if July means something. That is the month uh, during which Leo falls. Hmm. You may be getting something special for you Leo sons, like as a birthday present around then. January is what I meant to say. And February. And March. Hmm. That was interesting. What that last pile did. Okay. I started not to do any more of these tonight. I did the six months and I was going to do six months tomorrow. And we're beginning with, for January, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you may have met someone other than your normal quote unquote type. Um, also trust came into play. It was necessary during the month of January. It is necessary this month for Leos. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And I think that this card landed in the same exact position for like two other signs. And reconciliation by the end of the month for those of you in separation, those of us in separation. Uh, someone from your past is returning to your life. I was saying I wasn't going to do any more of these today. And then I was going to go to sleep like a human. It didn't work. <laughs> I laid there for a second. I didn't even like try. My clothes were still on. I didn't even like turn off the lights or anything. I ended up putting my TV for a change, which I very rarely do. Watch like half a show. And then I was like, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, so pay, as is, pay attention to the red flags. This is also back. The signs are cautioning you. So this is going on still in March. Also in March, children. I also had this very same card in this very same position for another sign or two. Um, not that I'm surprised because we do these, what do you, <sighs> collective readings for all illumined ones and elect ones, right? All the time. I do them every week. I do them every day. And we know that we share a lot of the same circumstances with like different little nuances. Um, I guess I just expected those nuances to 
play more of a role astrologically than they seem to actually be playing. In any case, your life, love life is being affected by children, Leo. And the need to free yourself also comes up in March. It's time to take back control of your life. Maybe those children, um, like running you around. You ever heard of children running parents and stuff? Maybe they're grown, but you still got some sort of attachment. You haven't, quote unquote, put them out. <laughs> you haven't um, asked them to fly away from the next the nest. They haven't volunteered to. Um, maybe, you know, you need to move or something. And there's another parent involved, a non-custodial parent. You got to come to an agreement. You know, there's all kinds of different things that could come into play with children and free yourself. In February, after reconciliation, you are revisited, um, as that card suggested by a past life relationship. You have known each other before. Also in February for you, Leo, you're getting love because you deserve it. You are lovable. And at the heart of the month of February and the matter, Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now, should I look at what may be quote unquote negative first or what looks exciting first and happy? Let's do what may be negative. I don't like to look at anything really negative on, on a serious note because, you know, we can turn everything positive by the fact that we learn from it. But as is often associated with pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, um, deception is here. Someone is wearing a false self mask. And they need to release their ex. The time has come to clear your energy and to stop lying. Love yourself first. Stop living and loving for other people uh, to whom you feel bound or by whom you feel bound. Your kids, your parents, your friends, your ex, you know, and any and everybody who wants to butt in and tell you how you should be living. We got to let these people go, Leo. Not just you, me too. Like I said, I'm a Leo also, so I'm going to, I'm not chastising you. Let's look, let's see what's under this for yourself. What could we be having if we freed ourselves? Boom. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we're keeping ourselves from them by not freeing ourselves. We need to get together with them and have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations and honestly discuss our feelings with each other. To recapture our romance, we can allow our inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That may be another reason why children is here. Maybe we should... You know, we need more levity and to lighten up. We need to be more childlike. That's perhaps something we need to look within to that inner child in order to heal the situation. That's another possibility too. We also may need to go on retreat together or alone. However, whatever feels best um, for us in order to heal and figure out a plan of how we're going to um, free ourselves. It's time to disconnect from the world one way or another. Because we attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, by just like throwing up our hands and letting down our hair and getting into it. And it has been worth waiting for, as are we. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. It is safe for you to love, Leo, so open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Um, we can also enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Holiday time in March, maybe what? When is Easter and Passover this year? Maybe that. Or it could be around the new and or full moons that month. Um, or this may just be the honeymoon phase of a relationship after you free yourself. You know, this could be what you begin to enjoy with that soulmate. Because right now it's unrequited love, as in imbalance. We, when our hormones get all out of whack, um, when we get stressed out because we're bound to something, and there's not enough 
attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going when that happens. Finances and career may also be a factor. They may be why you don't want to leave, for example, this child's other parent or something. Um, maybe that person is the breadwinner and you're like, how am I going to take care of myself if I go? Um, or maybe you're concerned about having to pay alimony and or child support. Um, that could be finances and career, a, a, a concern that might keep somebody bound um, rather than freeing themselves because of children. Let's see what's under calling in your soulmate. Well, this is how you do it. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Because your feelings are real and worth exploring, Leo. And if you are ready, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, very soon. I don't know if this is a quote-unquote coincidence or what, but beginning with my Egyptian oracle, I have this card here with this baby on it that may have something to do with children. I also had this card with the sign of Gemini and I did not tell them because when I picked up what was their real card, this is what was underneath. But I had been talking to Gemini about the possibility of having a baby and I think the card was here. Again, like I said, I've seen some of the same cards in the same positions for other signs. I think it was here. You know what? I'm going to read you. I'm going to tell, tell you what this card is about and then I'm going to pull one for you. But I'm, I'm tempted to see what's under past life too. And I know I'm just sort of being greedy now and looking at everything. But what's connected to this relationship? Well, we're aware that it's a sacred one. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path this also can have something to do with the children from another aspect aside from it being a sacred union and us being aware of that and us being aware of the sacredness of ourselves we could also be thinking like you know i can't leave this child to the parent uh, what would my pastor say <laughs> you know what are they going to say down at uh, mom and them's church if i you know show up with someone new as opposed to their mother or their father or whatever the case is um <sighs> Maybe you feel you have to bound yourself to someone. You have to marry someone or be with someone that you don't love. Like you're not bound yet in a legal sense maybe. But you feel like I got to marry this girl. I got to marry this man because I'm pregnant or because she's pregnant. Do people still do that? I know they did that in the long, long ago. But that may be a religious factor connected to children and being why it's diagonal and why we need to, again, free ourselves and not live for any of these 3D rules or society rules um, or, you know, our parents or the way they brought us up or the pastor or mom and them or the, anybody at their church that might want to say something. Froggies want to jump. We handle that, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, we don't have to worry about what other people think. If they want to, if they're so bold, let them come and say something to you. That really, really happens. And should it happen, then you become the seven of wands at that point. That's your, that's your energy, right? Wands, fire. You become the seven of fire at that point. Decide. Do I want to walk away from this person that's confronting me about my business? Or do I want to set them straight? And then you have the right to choose, Leo. Also, passion, okay, with this person. There's a real passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This situation involves marriage. So make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. There you go, Leo. Now this part can be about having a baby, becoming pregnant, giving birth to your dreams, um, children that you already have that may be affecting the situation. It can also be about naivete, right? Just not being learned about certain things, not having experienced certain things in life yet at any age. It can also be about May-December relationships. Maybe you are younger than your partner. Maybe your partner is younger than you. And the ways that those different um, dynamics 
it can affect um, a union. Well, the new overall energy in this deck is this gentleman bringing in, pulling in this gold shield. To me, it looks like a giant pentacle. And this card is very much six of pentacles for me. Um, and the six of pentacles is all about balance. So this may, can counteract that imbalance that was here under here, this free yourself area for those of us who need to do that. This can counteract that. And it also is that energy of exchange, right? You give to me freely. You give of yourself to me freely i give to you freely of myself i don't want it back necessarily but man if you return it to me with some of you that just makes it so much better right that's what this card says to me but let's see what your card precisely is ah it's the nine of clubs leo let's read it from the book to see exactly what the nine of clubs is about but it looks happy i opened right to it that's always a good sign too Nine of Clubs, fun, festival of abundance. This is a love reading. So we're talking about abundance of love here, but we could be talking about abundance of finances too and not being afraid. We saw that finances card and I said, maybe somebody, that's why they're being bound. They're not trusting in spirit to take care of them if they go ahead and, you know, move on, whatever that means for them. Um, and maybe that's why we saw that other card. Maybe that's why Spirit blesses us with this other card, with this gentleman pulling in this very, very large pentacle to say, like, don't worry about it. The abundance will be flowing for you guys. Party and delight. Times of cheerfulness and joy. Obstacles are overcome with preparation, but mostly lightheartedly with irony. It seems impossible to see the comic side of difficult or tragic situations, but it is exactly this ability that separates the wise from the unhappy. The plans of sad souls are always delayed and everything seems grayer. Advice. Try throwing a party full of guests and happy events. The occasion? Absolutely nothing. This advice is also a useful exercise for anyone consisting of getting used to creating positive, pleasurable, and lively situations without waiting for the calendar to tell you what to do. Yes, let's not wait for the calendar or you know any other uh, thing or place or person to tell us what to do. Let's live and love for ourselves, Leo. Spirit says we can. Spirit says we are abundant in all things and we are blessed in all things if we trust, take our guidance, and move forward. And I hope that this forecast will help you to be able to do that, Leo. You, this is a look ahead and you can make your decisions and, you know, changes accordingly. Namaste.